Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Cross Summers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. We are at the Dunbar Place at Mom and Kevin's here. And this is gonna be the beginning of the journey for me and Marissa and our daughter, Brooks. We're headed to Springfield, Missouri on a little bison trip. We're going to the uh, Route 66 Bison Roundup sale. We're gonna take you on a road trip to kind of show you kind of what goes on behind a livestock sale. There's over 400 bison that have been signed up for this sale. And, you know, it, it's going to be a huge sale, whether even if 400 come, but over 300 is big. And uh, this is blown up way bigger than we thought it would be working with the Missouri Association uh, lately and kind of with the Oklahoma Bison Association and the Missouri Bison Association combining together to make this thing happen. We are very excited to get up there and uh, see some friends and stuff and see some good animals and potentially buy something and just do it as a little family trip and we get to show you guys uh what it's like to if you're interested in buying bison and stuff so uh tomorrow we are heading out early early in the morning we are leaving about 5 a.m to get up to springfield to unload some animals which is about to happen here since i'm taking a trailer up north right just in case we want to buy some bison we're not taking any uh, this year this go around a friend of mine, they're out of southeastern Oklahoma. I told Ian a long time ago I would take um, their three. I think we've got maybe a yearling and two calves or one calf and two yearlings coming. Not a whole lot. And I said, sure, absolutely. We'll put them on a trailer and we'll haul them up there for you. We're going that way anyways. And that's not that big of a load. So um, those animals are coming right now. They'll be here in just a minute. We're going to load them in this uh, corral right here uh, where we always bring animals and we introduce them right here uh this is the first place we uh brought bison so we're gonna bring them here they're gonna stay literally less than 24 hours way less than 24 hours and then tomorrow morning we'll meet you right back here brooks me and marissa will be uh loading them up we'll be heading up to springfield so you guys stay tuned we're gonna load them real quick when these guys arrive so much rain we've been so blessed and had so much rain here it is soggy and muddy everywhere and uh i'm not going to complain at all because we needed it and last summer you guys know ponds were all dry but this we're getting a good start to uh 2023 so far There we go. That's it. It's got a. We've got a two yearlings and a little calf. Looks like what we've got here. And this is the crew making the road trip. Well, Kevin's here, so since Kevin's here, I'm going to go ahead and back this trailer up. This is in the place that we uh, never loaded bison out before, but. Our normal loadout area where our tub is and it has a loadout uh, part on it where I always load out our animals um, is completely mudded out so we cannot get this rig in there and uh, if I don't want to get stuck so we have to leave early in the morning so I do not want to take the risk and get stuck so Kevin's here he's gonna help me back up to this new area that we've rigged up some panels to try to uh, load these three out the good thing is is Ian's three bison are very calm and they're not like big bulls or cows and rowdy and stuff, so we shouldn't have a problem loading them. Well, back up here, line it up, and then leave it for tonight. So basically, all I have to do is show up, uh, hook up to the trailer, and then load them, load them up. Perfect. Good old chain right here. Chain that, but the little flip latch. We had it hung. You... I mean, even oh yeah. If you get the calf in the front, after you got three, you're out here in this big area. 
and put the calf up here and put the heifer and that bull together. I mean. Do I need to be in there to help you shut any gates or anything? Just stay right there. You are. He's coming back, Dusty. They're going, babe. They're going. Yes, it does. That worked well. We made it to Springfield, Missouri. We're out here at the yard and um, guys here from the cell are actually working the bison right now getting them sorted into different pens for the cell. So uh, we arrived here safely yesterday, Marissa and Brooks and I. Uh, we brought three animals up uh, for a friend. Uh, we left about 5 a.m. yesterday morning and we uh, got here about um, 10.30. A five and a half hour trip worked out well. Right now there's um, a little over 300 animals here at this facility right now. And a lot of them were brought in Thursday um, for vet work, and then some of them were brought in yesterday that also have to get worked. Um, you'll see on some of these animals, uh, all of the males have blue tags, and all the females have white tags. And they all have certain numbers, certain tag numbers when they come through uh, the sale barn. When they're dropped off, they're either worked at their uh, facility, at their ranch where they came from, and then um, they could be worked that way or they can be worked when they get here. Uh, but either way, they have to, the males have to have a blue tag and their certain identification number and the females have to have the, a white tag. An um, easy way to tell them apart. And so that's what these guys here are doing, are, are working and sorting them right now um, to get ready for this sales. Next thing is we are, uh, I'm gonna go pick up the girls and we're gonna come back and get ready for the sale. It starts at 11 o'clock 
and uh, we'll see what we can find. But it's very nice to come to places like this and meet new people, uh, see some old friends and stuff. And that's uh, that's one of the things about this. You can kind of congregate together, get to know new people, new producers, see how they do things. It's, and uh, it's a fun event and it's fun to come to these sales. And I, I love coming and, and creating new friendships and relationships and, and seeing some old friends. So, um, and then, you know, checking out other people's bison and uh, potentially may buy some. So, but um, sales gonna start at 11. It'll last around you know, three, four, could be five hours. So we'll see. Uh, give me twenty five hundred, sir. It's only not two grand down twenty five hundred dollars. Give me twenty five, twenty five, two. group here. Oh, just a couple little flyweights here. Well, we made it back to Oklahoma. Came up to the Ponderosa. Back, uh, Back to normal life. Um, really wasn't a long trip. We were left Friday morning at 5 a.m. and made it up there safely. Dropped some friends, a bison off. Anyways, it was a busy trip. It was a it was a busy two days, and uh, uh, it was nice to go to those sales and and see lots of lots of people, meet new people, and catch up with friends, and uh, just kind of see where the bison uh, prices are in the spring because. The, the thing about a spring sale is it's your last opportunity. One, to get rid of animals, or, or two, uh, to purchase animals kind of for, for the rest of the year until the fall. And so, because what happens is in the spring is obviously babies are born in April, May, June. And uh, you don't wanna be buying or moving around a bunch of pregnant females. Uh, you want them to, be, to find a good home and be there for a while and be comfortable before they start having calves. You could have some issues there. Um, not Nothing major, but uh, you just wanna have your stock settled and ready, especially those mamas, uh, whenever calving season starts. And then the other thing is, it's your last opportunity if you need to get rid of animals uh, before you go into the summer, which in Oklahoma, um, we've struggled the past couple of years. And, and in, in Missouri, Kansas, uh, Texas, we've struggled with the drought and so, uh, lots of people are having to downsize on their animals. And so there's kind of your last opportunity to do that as well uh, before the fall hits um, because the sales won't come around until November and Custer State Park usually starts that, which is uh, like the first weekend in November. So we had a good time with Brooks and Marissa. Is, uh, I think it was Brooks's first sale, to be honest with you. So it was busy on the girls and... Um, now we're continue on doing things here, getting ready for calving season ourselves. Uh, before we know it, I mean, uh, it'll be April and then May. Um, hopefully we'll have some red dogs, could possibly have some in April. We're gonna concentrate on working on this barn here on the other side and uh, doing some fun things there. So, hey, thank you guys for watching us, being part of the channel, being a part of the Route 66 Bison Roundup for the first time ever. We're gonna try to continue to keep doing that sale. So thank you guys for watching us. We'll see you guys soon.
Hey girl. What do you think, Cora? What do you think, pretty girl?